Welcome back to What Are Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the Centurion Mark 7 1. It's a British Tier 9 medium tank and it's located on the north spawn of Mines under the command of Bender Bender. Now, the replay looks a little different. That's because it's from January 2017. And so we've got a Centurion with a 105mm gun and battle has commenced. Now, mine's not very, very different nowadays. Much more spectacular in HD. But the tanks are very much still the same. It's just they look, well, they look slightly better. Well, Fender Bender's going to the island. Nobody else is going with him, surprisingly. And we've got a Leo's gone up into the center. Nobody's seen on the South Island yet. Oh, we've seen a Centurion over the other side. Yep, got a hit on him and work out where he's going. Yep, lovely one right through his side. Picked up 391 from that one. The 105mm has got uh, alpha damage 390, penetration 268. So reload is fairly long though, that's the unfortunate. T30, American tank destroyer. Just about make it out, but he, I think he's behind cover. Yeah, he's behind cover. I think he's behind that rock in the way we can't see no nope. well it doesn't appear to be anybody on the south island but that t30 is going to be a bit of a problem to try to try and get around and overcome especially if he's got the 155 millimeter gun okay we're going to go on to the south island should be able to get shots on the enemy in the centre. They've got the control of the hill at the moment. But I think we can do something about that. Oh! Jag Tiger 88 just put a round into us. We used our gun depression, put a round into him. 340, low roll. around into the KV-3 but unfortunately it bounced. And that one went into the tracks I think. Now we've got a T-34-1 on our side. This is awkward. Okay, it's reloaded. I think he's going to try and deal with that T-34-1 before he deals with the other ones over on the other side. He could move up on that T-34-1, but obviously he'd be giving up his protection. Got a nice bit of cover here. All right, he's decided a chance to shot from the Jag Tiger. Use his gun depression. There's the T-30. That won't bounce. No, get that through and takes a round from the T-34-1 again. Now he's got 10 degrees of gun depression, so he should be able to use the wrench lines, but he might be able to use that against the T-34-1 as well, because of course that tank doesn't have very good gun depression. Oh, he managed to get around into the Carnarvon! The different geometry of the map back then, you could actually fire onto the hill from here. Oh, up there's the 230 again. It's spotted. Nope, he's behind the rock. Can you get shots on the Yag Tiger? No, they're in cover. Which means that they're not covering the T 34 1 at the moment. Now, Leo's coming back. 
Oh no, he's going to the south side of the hill. That's why we can't see him. Now we've got the enemy occupying mostly the east side of the map and the south side. We've got shots on the IKB? Yes. Lovely. And he gets around into the side. Did he get a fire there? No, I think that was a shot from somebody else. Went in at the same time. Can he get another shot? He's banged up against something. And... Yes, he gets him out of the game. First kill. Right now. Oh, that T-34-1 is actually tussing. Oh, T-34-1 just killed. Oh, no, it wasn't the T-34-1. The t 30 killed our T26E4 Super Pershing and the GW Tiger P then killed the T26E4 is that right? No, our G20, GW Tiger killed their G, uh, T26 but since there's nobody in the southwest corner anymore we can move up and try and use our gun depression on those enemies oh one round into the rear of the Yag Tiger he's on fire and he's gone that's the second kill. Okay, there's the T-30. He was preoccupied. We've got control of the hill now. T-34 took it. There's a Borsig ahead of us. And I think he's just the other side of that rock. T-34 just took a hit from the Borsig. And we might be able to get shot into him. We do. 409 high roll. And he's killed. Now, can we use the gun depression? Should be able to. This will help. Now, turn slightly to one side. No, he's going to go round and attack them from a different direction. Because he can occupy their cap area. There's only five of them left. We know where the Leo is. We know where the Wizzy 111 was last seen. In fact, we know where he is now. He's been spotted. Which means there's only three that we don't know. And that's one of the mediums and the both RT. And the both RT are probably in the cap. In fact, now we know where all the medium tanks are. So it's only the RT in the cap area. Only the RT in the cap area. There's one of the RT. The FP-207. And there's the other one. It's the GW Tiger P. And we get one into the GW Tiger P, but... And there's the FP-207, and he's ignoring us, which is a bit of a mistake because he's about to die. Oh! That one went through the tracks! Oh, how unfortunate. And the 207's been taken out by our GW Tiger, which just leaves the GW Tiger people. We're going for the TP-41. We get the kill. That's three kills. We're leaving the GW Tiger P alone. And the reason we're doing that, obviously, is that our arties are all on their own. And we've got to get up there and try and save them. Ouch, just took around from the Leo. He's on top of the hill. Now, it may be a mistake to leave the RT alone. Because, of course, he's going to be firing at us as we're on our way back to our own camp. And they've managed to kill the Wizzy 111. The GW Tiger P got him. So that means there's just the GW Tiger P and the Leo. But the GW Tiger P cannot see us at the moment because we're unsighted. So we're safely up the hill. But where is this Leo? There he is. He's in the hill. Right, now which way do we go? I go north about because then the arty can't hit you as you're going around the, the top of the hill. And if it forces him out around the other side, our arty gets another shot. There he is, locks on, fires around him, but he doesn't kill him. He's going for the edge. He's jumped off the edge and he survived. We're going to try and chase him down. This was back in the days when you could go over the edge of the cliff and not die. And he kills him right at the base. Bounce around from the Leo. Now it's just to kill that GW. We've got four kills now. This won't be our fifth. 
pretty good game so far. 3,903 hit points of damage, 300 blocked, 3,530 spotted. Well, the GW Tiger P knows where we're coming from. He's going to be ready for us. And I think Pender Bender is going to be sneaky. He's just going to sit in the gap here and force the GW Tiger P to come out. Or he will lose the game. If he goes around the corner, he could be killed. Now, we lost one of our uh, arties during the game. We lost the FB207. And I think that was the GW Tiger P might have taken him out. But rather than go around the corner and get derped in the face and lose the game for our team, we're going to sit in the cap and force the GW to come out and attack us. So he's doing the smart play. And our GW Tiger P is helping. He's firing a few rounds in. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, and then he gets a reset there, but he's now played, and that's it, game. Ooh, that was close. He might have got wiped out. <laughs> the T-34 said noob. Well, anyone can make a mistake, and at least he gave a defender medal to the enemy, I should think. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what the end of battle stats said. Oh, it's an ace tanker for Fender Bender Centurion's Mark 71. So he's not a noob, he's now an ace tanker. He also picked up a hand of God for surviving and winning the battle, having received damage from four different enemies, a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage, a bruiser for getting at least five critical hits, he got nine, an arsonist for setting fire to a tank that killed it, it was the Yag Tiger 88, he did that too, a fighter badge for getting at least four kills, he got five, a duelist for taking down two tanks that did damage to him during the battle, and a fire for effect for doing as much damage as the hit points of your own vehicle. And the epic medal he won was the high caliber. He dealt the most damage in that battle overall. So <laughs> let's have a look at the team scores, see exactly what happened. Well, there you have it. 3,917 hit points of damage. He did get the high caliber. Uh, the next high scorer was, in fact, the T20, T26E4 Super Pershing with 2,436 hit points. And uh, then we've got the... Uh, GW Tiger P with 2,376 there. So, pretty good battle for them. Let's have a look and see where that GW Tiger P... Did he get a defender? Yes, he did get a defender medal in the end. So, very nice for him. Uh, by resetting uh, Fender Bender right at the end, he picked up uh, an epic medal, which will bump up his score as well. When it came to kills, it was definitely Fender Bender who managed to get the highest amount. He got five. GW Tiger P got four. T34 got three. Uh, so who's calling who a noob, Mr. T-34? I think this guy did a lot better than you did. And when it came to base XP, it's still Fender Bender at the top of the table with 1,478. Then the T-34 with 1,012. And then the T-26 E-4 Super Pershing with 948. He fired 16 rounds, got 16 direct hits, good accuracy. 12 penetrations. Damage of 3,912 hit points, of which 1,381 were at more than 300 meters. He received six hits from the enemy, five of them were penetrations, one was a non-penetration, and he blocked damage of 300 hit points. He spotted six enemy vehicles, he damaged ten of the enemy, two-thirds of the enemy team, and killed five of the enemy, one-third of the enemy team. He also did damage assistance, spotting assistance, of 3,530 hit points during that battle. That's a huge amount, and that's why his base XP is so high. He also managed to get nine capture points at the end after he got the reset from the uh, uh, GW Tiger P. Uh, and on a standard account, he earned 49,783 credits. He got uh, repair and ammunition resupply, and that left him with 16,392 credits. He received 1,478 XP, times two for the first victory of the day, picked up 2,956 experience points altogether. So, yeah, it was a dicey ending. I think, you know, driving in front of the uh, GW Tiger P and letting him take that defender, uh, well, mm, 
Yeah, you might have died. <laughs> you might very well have died because back then, RT was full cream. This was a 9.17 replay. RT was so much different back then. There was no stun mechanic. You could have died in that moment, but uh, you did survive and then you took him out because he had a long reload and finished the game that way. But it probably would have been much better just to sit in the cap and stay there and get the Invader Medal. Uh, because at least that way it forced the GW Tiger P to make the decision. Does he come out and get his defender or uh, get killed in the process? Um, well, that would have been up to him then. But it was a good battle. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.